Hi, this is presentation on database, databases, their use in research. Let us start with the basic question, what is database? A database is a collection of information organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed and updated. So, it is collection of information. The contents of the database may include bibliographic, full text, numeric data and also images like photos, then maps, graphs, diagrams can be included in database. There can be e-books, e-journals, articles or book reviews, research reports, thesis and dissertations. All these may be included in database. Now, there are two types of databases. One is bibliographic database, another is full text database. Bibliographic database normally they give you the citation and the abstract. As against this, the full text database gives you the complete text, maybe thesis or journal articles, complete text are available. Within a bibliographic database, it can be divided as subject specific databases and general databases. For example, subject specific databases are ERIC or even in full text there can be subject specific database. In bibliographic database, ERIC does not have full text database. It is free of charge. ERIC is available online free of charge but it is bibliographic database. As against this, Full text database, subject specific database, for example, ProQuest, Humanities and Social Sciences is a subject specific database. Whereas there are general databases like statistical databases also are there giving statistics. So IndiaStats.com, so statistics about India can be a general type of database. Now bibliographic versus full text database. Bibliographic databases, as I told you, give only bibliographic de details and an abstract. They indicate the full text document. They will not give you the full text. They will just show you and then you have to search for full text document. As against this, full text document gives the complete text of the each reference document and they are more comprehensive in coverage and they are that's why they are more useful and readers normally want full text database than bibliographic database because their time is not wasted. Now subject specific databases versus general database. When it is subject specific databases you can go in depth in that subject. So they are comprehensive within that discipline whereas general databases have multidisciplinary searches so they search in various disciplines like social sciences, sciences, they are of general nature. For example, JGate is a database of journals by informatics, but it is general database. Then finding articles on less studied topics, this can be done in subject specific database. As against this, in general database, you can find articles on general topics. Then in Specific databases, subject specific databases, you can limit your search to scholarly articles which is not there in general database. Subject specific databases enable you in depth research. As against this, general database are, databases are useful for browsing and starting the search process. You can just start with JGate and then go in for in-depth or, or subject specific databases or even pop line that is population statistics whatever pop line data you can get, take and then go in for subject specific databases like LISA in library science, SINAL in nursing, ERIC in education. So what are the common features of database? The day, all the database, they 
enable extensive search in locating and retrieving relevant information and focused information. Then they facilitate saving your search, they allow printing, they allow emailing it to your friends and sharing the data, they allow to create an alert and also use web 2.0 tools like RSS feed. Some of the databases enable citing the references according to standard style manuals like APA or MLA style sheet or Vancouver accordingly they will enable you to cite the references. Some of them enable you to save the search under favorites. Some of them enable you manage your search in my research account so that later on you can find out what you have done or collected earlier. Now databases in SNDT library. SNDT library subscribes to a number of databases. There are some databases which are accessed through IP. For example, those databases which we have uh, received access from Inflibnet, they are accessed on IP address and for, those, for, for them, you have to come to SNDT library either at Juhu, Churchgate or Pune. All the uh, libraries have access of these databases. They are Cambridge University Press database, then Springer Link, then JCC, JSTOR. JSTOR is a very versatile database and ISTD, Wiley Blackwell and IEEE Explore. This is particularly useful for engineering discipline. Then EBSCO Sinhal, useful for nursing. This is access through username and password. So you will be given username and password of these databases. IndiaStats.com, we are subscribing to this. JGate, we are subscribing to this. And ProQuest, thesis and dissertations in humanities and social sciences. And we are newly subscribing to some of the databases like Economic and Political Weekly Statistics. Now searching database. Each database has its own searching interface and its own capability. Many of the basic search concepts and features are similar. They are keyword search. You can search it through keyword. Keyword means author, title or name of the publisher. So if you know halfway through, if you know the only the surname of the author, take that as keyword and search. Then free text search, concept search and boolean operators. You can use boolean operators like and, or, not. We will see what it is. You can limit your search by type of document. For example, you want articles. You want peer-reviewed articles only from peer-reviewed journals only. So you can limit your search accordingly in database. You can limit your search according to the date of publication. You can limit it according to language. For example, I want uh, material only in English language, only in French language. Accordingly, you can give it, uh, uh, you can limit that, your search. So, all these ways, in all these ways, you can limit your search while searching the database. Now, what is keyword searching? As I have already told you, Keyword search looks for keyword anywhere in the record that you are searching. It can be author, title or subject or even publisher as I already said. It is good when you do not have complete details of these uh, things. Author or title, halfway through you, are, you know the title, this keyword search helps you. However, concept search is more versatile and it is uh, advocated by experts than this keyword search. Concept search is about meaning and not about words as in the case of keyword search. Now Boolean searching. Databases offer you an opportunity to do Boolean searching. With Boolean searching you can widen the scope of your search or you can limit the scope of your search or you can define your own search and they are and or not or near. These are the words. You can use them within, within that database. For example, ProQuest dissertation and thesis. This uh, is there in SNDT library. 
in case of dense database full text database it is its subject coverage is humanities and social sciences and it covers thesis and dissertations all around the world from 1861 till today so it's very comprehensive it enables simple as well as advanced searching using boolean operators it facilitates saving sending the research alerts managing organizing as well as citing the references now this is the page of proposed dissertation and thesis full text and in the search box now you will find that distance education is the word that is used now you can widen your search by using or or you can limit or focus your search by using and for example distance education and e learning is the focus search that is done by using and or is used many a times and also near for example teenage near boys teenage near girls will search only the articles on teenage boys or teenage girls so this is the use of and or and not operators for example not how can it be used not can be used to show or to limit your search for example stone not jewelry or stones not precious if you give that example then i do not want the information on precious stones i want geological information on stones so this is the way you search within the database this is all about databases and database searching i have taken up one example of database that is uh, proposed thesis and dissertation but there are such other databases which also give you searching advanced searching features and which should be used by all researchers for their literature search and then go onwards to literature review thank you